Yo, hello and welcome. I'm Bad Luck and today we're gonna continue to play Borderlands. Now, I've already played a little bit. I've done some of the side quests, you know, so that that's gotten out of the way. Don't have to bore you guys with, let's just say, here's a little basis of what I've all done beforehand. Never. caught up yeah brilliant good now we still have bruce mclean he's here yes bruce mclean died for this thing bruce mclean is dead as his fiance feared you found a handwritten journal on his on his corpse perhaps we'll shed some light on how we met his aunt. in the journal bruce this uh, described the scam where he gathered local plant leaves rolled them into cigars then sold them to bandits while claiming they were priced off world tobacco with the money He'd hoped to marry his fiancée and take her away from Pandora. Apparently his first customer immediately died of massive internal bleeding. And the bandit forced Bruce to use it on his own product as payback. Ooh. Round of these cigars for some kid get a whole day's and smokes in the back alley. What kids? Primarily the bandits around Titan's end. Alright. What kids? The midgets? Are they children? Have we been slaughtering children? Ah, who cares? They're bandits anyway. No, it's windy as f out here with me. Oh. Anyway, alright. So now we have to find Box O Cigar. Uh, where? Oh yeah, Titanian. That means we have to climb up here. Whee! Thank you. Yep. Yep. The people out there were out of their skull. Now, for those who don't know that, that's actually where the Skull and the Pike mission came from that we picked up last time. What's this? Certain general warning. Most of this problem could definitely result in severe internal hemorrhaging, even if you do not inhale. Damn. Look at this shit. Hey, look at this shit. There's one pistol here, Brick. <gasps> Hoppa. Yeah, yeah. battling me for I'm here trying to keep you all of course there's a corrosive just when I fixed myself up to be like a corrosive there's a corrosive skag here I should have actually helped the boost but, uh... I'm about to die Yep, I'm about to die. Why did that be a corrosive? <laughs> Easy does it. No, it's still a corrosive uh, fist, but well, better than dying. Round and round the skag, the bandit stalker killed the bandit, the stalker thought it was all in fun. Pop! Went the baddest corrosive alpha. I just noticed, it's a badass corrosive alpha. It's not even like a normal skag. Die. And it drops, corrosive artifact. 
Well, that's at least nice. Okay. Two. Is that a box? There's not a box. There it is. Three. Right out. Now we will deliver these, and then we can go on to a brand new world. Let's see if we can actually use that corrosive artifact. Balls? Well, that answered all of our question. What, where did the park general flee? Oh, there you are. He blended in so well with his orange paint job. Beep, beep, beep. Hip. Flying! Apparently, that got me an achievement. Well, um. Hmm. Yay? Yeah. Sometimes the edges of this game are just so ridiculous. You can get air on them. It's actually one of the achievements is getting air for so long. I think it's like a space achieve, orbit achieve. That's the one. It's when you have to hang in mid air with a vehicle for so long. You can do that when you have two people. One of them sits in the car and the other one, like as brick, hits the car. That makes the car go fly and spiral out of control. And every now and then you can trick the game into believing that you just punched it and it spiraled out of control just over the air. Bruce is dead? What an idiot! Could have made a life together uh, here somehow. Instead he threw it all away on a stupid scam. Oh well, it's not like there aren't plenty of available men around. Oh goodbye. Took those poisonous to go. Oh! Well, she's very, very nice to that, isn't she? Alright. Well, we now have to talk to a claptrap. Find someone called Ernest. Shoot a bandit midget shotgunner. You know, all the normal Pandoran stuff. Basically, it's follow the road. Hi, dude. Oh. That was it. It's like a little poof. And I'm out of nitros again. They really need to recharge the nitro way faster than this. That was a circle of that. Done that too. Look, even that uh, fan is spinning. There was a lot of crap on there. Like, a lot. So, you think the vault is real, eh? You don't? Mm. Everyone is talking about it. This is the biggest thing that's happened here in a long time. Think of the visitors we will have. Listen, oui? if you find it, what's inside could be worth a fortune. But only if you get the right partner to help you sell it. So, partners? I like Marcus, actually. Ow. I bumped. Crappy! Yeah, why not? Downloading and analyzing your DNA record. Yay. Human status confirmed! Yay! Access to the doll headland is granted! Please stand by while I activate the gate for you! Alrighty. And yes! You are now free to enter the doll headland. Please enjoy your relaxing stay. Interesting fact. Based on your current stress pattern, a 94.3% chance that you will encounter an unfortunate death experience. Hmm. Don't worry, we already had those. Fun about these gates is, we can get, take General Flea with us, if I was right about that. Yay! Come on, General. Ow. Hi, Ernest. Sup? Well, you should up just in a nick time. The bandits have regrouped behind some character named Mad Mel. He's <laughs> apparently got it out for whoever cack slash. That would be me. You should up at the right time. Bandits decided to lay siege at the last chance watering hole in the south. And my friend Lucky is trapped inside. He called me for help just before you showed up. I wasn't sure what to do. Yes, I am. I'm talking to him right now. Please, go help my premium. Chill jump boners! I dug him up myself. 
I thought these creatures would uh, were extinct uh, until down at the Wellspring Bluff I came across a skag bigger than anything I've seen. Oh, that's the giant skag I was talking about earlier. His diet of cesium cactus, runner fuel, and of course humans. Mmm. Seem to have endowed it. Mmm, it's well endowed. Probably got a lot of girth, big and veiny. It would incredible mutations. What? Three testicles? Truly, Skagzilla uh, is a marvel of uh, adaptation and survival. So, I wanted to acquire some bait, lure it out, and kill it. Well. Oh, nice. It's not very polite, is he? Hi, Boski. Welcome. To the open waste. Hey, uh, you know, luck is an old buddy of mine. And uh, by old buddy, I mean asshole that ruined my mom's girl parts. Well, sounds like he's in trouble, so you go on ahead and try to keep him alive long enough so I can kill him at a later occasion. Okay. Look, he's effort. Yeah. Stop ramming it. Really? What the? Ah, flip it over. Yippee. Okay. Well. How nice. Wait, is this where the bait is? Oh! Right oh! The base here. Wait, that's it. Right over. Up. Next. Well, we got some bait. Let's go meet Skaggy. General flee nice in here. Let's see. Safety first. Alrighty then. Warning. Trouble. Is everyone ready? Here we go. Hibuski. Took some time to make sure all my weapons and armaments are correctly, cause he's a big one. Oh, and I'm carrying slat shotgun. This. Okay, hello. Mmm. Is it bad that we're feeding a skag to a skag? This might not be our smartest move. Why do we have to kill skags? Well, I mean, whoa. That did not do much good. Welcome to our story of dancing with the skag. That's really it though. It's dancing with the skag. Whoa. Torro, torro. Where you went off to? Oh well. As a close range berserker, this is probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. What else we got? This is probably more like it. Come on. That's what I mean. Yeah, Skaxilla is looks magnificent. I know it's basically just a bigger creature. But when it shows the laser, it really doesn't hurt as much and it sets itself open to all kinds of attack. 
long as you have something that can fire fast enough, you should be good. It's a hard reason it doesn't want to shoot its fi uh, laser anymore. I always want to say it's fire. Skagzilla doesn't shoot fire, you dumb dumb. When you have a character that basically has regenerate, like for instance with Brick, let's say we get two injured, go berserk, go nuts for a while. One, you can still technically hit it, and two, you'll regenerate a lot of your um, HP. Oh, bye, have a beautiful day. Yeah. Pistol, nice thingy, other thingy, let's say, another pistol, and a hep, hep. Well, oop, oh, that talked. There she stands, General Flea. Easy, easy. Monkey cheesy. I think for this though, maybe the rockade launch air would be a good idea. Because these outriders are righteously annoying best. I have a feeling we're just driving circle. There we go. Die. Oh, parking spot. Missed. Hi. Come here, you Mad Max look-alike. There we go. Now park it. Yay! I'm gonna go after Lucky. Changing missions. There we go. Bandits killed. Lucky rescued. Yay! Let's do this. No, I actually know there's a door on the other side, but it ain't open yet. Hello! Goodbye. Hehehe. <laughs> We actually take most of them out just with the boxes. Oh, hello! Do you fit through there? Yes, you do. Hello, big boy. I like it as a small upside with just following it. What do you have? Die. Slash shotgun is incredibly powerful. Why it out though? I missed. I'm gonna fist miss from this close. Well, technically, I can. He might have dodged me. Still, like looting in the circle. I don't need to. Up. Yay! Eh. What the? Come in. All right, let's do this again then. Bye -bye. guys are more annoying than the bruiser. Bruisers are nice, but they're also 
They're very high of fair play. When you get close, they often enough try to punch you. Like that. So a lot of the bandits just continue firing away. There we go. Yee! You know this okay? Lucky! We're coming for you, mate! Wait. What? Mir! Yeah! Bandits killed. Favor to fate. Now I know one of the doors will open. And I will show with a giant badass bruiser. Also, you might have noticed my commentary kind of drops as soon as I'm in combat, like that. And I'm almost dead. Because I really don't want to die and have to reload everything. What? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Ow! He minded! Yeah, stinking swapple flagger. Oh, okay. Can I actually close the gates? No. But that's the one. This door will open and often show. Is he shooting through the door? He is shooting through the door. I just basically screw myself over. Now, back. No. Back. Ow. Fickle bottom. Eh. Opening a chest. Go, go entertain yourself. Poopy shotgun. Soldier class mod. It's often we split the shotgun, by the way. Let's do this a bit differently, you and me. You're not on fire, you're on corrosion. That's different. But I want that one. That one is better than anything we have. Switching! There we go. I threw both of them down. We have this one and that one. I'm going for the support. I accidentally immediately equipped it, but that can be remedied later. Hi, Loki. How you doing? He's a Zaffer, did you know that? Get in Loki. Rescuing Loki Zaffer at the last chance, water and hole. Oh, thanks, man. You really see? You really see my beacon over there? We really need to do something about these bandits. They're like drunk, pissed off hornets, not a sledge is dead. Right. Alright, we're doing fine. I want to get back to Ernest, but I can't face another bandit. Fast travel will be okay, but it's been offline around here for ages. Madmel blocked Scooter from coming to fix it. If fast travel were working, we could instantly teleport to a new U station we've ever visited. Yay! Even one next to Ernest in podium. Will you fix it? Fine. Yeah. Okay. Hi, hi, thanks for keeping that dick bag alive long enough for me to pound on later. As much as it pains me to admit, Lucky knows the area better than anyone. I want to use him while he's alive for me not having killed him and all. Alright then. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this one here. I know we haven't done a lot. But I'm trying something new here by skipping most of this little side quest that would otherwise be just tediously running amok uh, everywhere and picking stuff up. So, if you would like these kind of things that I just skip the side quest and try to plow forward into main storyline, you let me know, alright? But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I will surely hope you will all join me in the next time. Goodbye!